know, another thing to consider here as we move on to Summoner's Rift for game number one between Jenner Greenwings and the Koo Tigers is that they got absolutely... Starts to come alive, and I don't know about doing this dragon right now. Oh, they're trying it. I mean, lucky for them, Koo Tigers are not around. Here comes Kog'Ma, though. Can he maybe poke people out? No, it doesn't look like it. They're going to go in on to Tracer. Tracer had a slash up. There's the ult from Smab. The stun's chained, and that is easily going to be first blood taken by Wisdom here. And for a fully stacked oh. item right there, Smab. <laughs> He's going to try to hop out. A brush. Yeah, do a little bit of damage to Wing. Gets kicked back in. Kuzan is there. Smab in a lot of trouble. Will he get Meganar in time? Going to be coming right now, but it's a little bit too late. There's a kill for Kuzan. Mad Giants, of course. On the job. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the Kuzan. Kuzan oh. in a lot of trouble. He couldn't get over the wall. Gets out on the lantern at the last moment. But that ignite ticking, not quite enough. Box used again for Che. This time it slows up Wisdom. But here comes Smeb. Che could be in a bit of trouble. Wisdom went through two walls in the box there. Death Ray barely missing Che. But there's the flash. And the kill for Smeb gets kicked under the turret, though. They're going to change onto Wing, though. Wing did a lot of trouble. Manages to queue his way over the wall to escape. Still a. What they want oh. is to force these kind of fights. Yeah, teleport Perfect timing. In. Baron going down very quickly, but they can turn off of it if they need to. They're sticking around with it. Here comes Jin Air. They're missing a Zir, though. Kuzan's way out of the fight. Gorilla gets blown up completely, though. There's a kill for Captain Jack. Baron does go over to the Ku Tigers, though. Ray hops over the wall to escape, so they lost this. This but. game is basically like, you know, two sumo wrestlers in the circle, right? And they're both, like, really pushing uh -oh. hard uh -oh. as even. And there we go. Prey gets caught by Trace, and that's an easy 1v1 despite the exhaust. Oops, Trey was pushed up a little bit too far, but 50 skins until this next Baron. Yeah, there's no Victor. Victor busy getting pulled Oh, they caught catch Trace. Trey. Trace still very tanky. He's going to be able to get out. That's a lot of damage, though. Takes the lantern. No, he doesn't, actually. Cast Storm comes in, turns on to Wisdom, and with only Kuro there, this is really dangerous. Goodbye, Wisdom. No, here comes the rest of Ku from the background. They take out Kuzan. Gorilla gets that kill, and now the Ku Tigers suddenly with a huge advantage. They could probably just walk up to Baron as soon as Wisdom got his, his got his health back. Ku Tigers out of this. Che throwing hooks in. I don't know if it's enough. Smeb still very low. A bit tanky because that early maw. They he do. Got oh, it. he stole a Baron. Wing was able to take it. Now Ku really needs to win a team fight here. They're chasing Captain Jack. They'll get him. The kill goes to Kuro. But a huge moment for Jin Air. They cohesive with I this know. entirely changed roster. Oh, Sivir Alt, they're going to try to go in on the Smeb here. Smeb in a lot of trouble. He's got no flash. He's got no summoners. Goes for the stun, hops into the Raptor pit. It's not enough. Kuzan with a kill, and that is almost certainly going to be a Baron, which could certainly lead. Baron starting to take a lot of damage now. Ku Tigers again trying to do what they can with those alts. Gorilla gets caught, gets taken out. Another kill for Kuzan, and right back onto the Baron they go. That is it. Who can't fight this anymore? And who's on the zeros? Look very good. Siege with Sivir and with Rise. They don't need it right now. Oh, Captain Jack takes a turret. Kuro could be in trouble. There's a nice kick from Winged. Another kill for Kuzan and Jin Air is about to roll to victory here, man. Be careful here. It's still a 3v5, but Kuzan is very, very low. It's been so close. They're going to try to get a lot of wisdom. That is a ton of damage and a nice death sentence to pick up another kill for Trace. Man, this is a completely different Jin Air team. This is a Very totally, weird. totally different team. And I mean, literally, it's a totally different team. Only Trace, yes. the same as uh, the last roster. And there's a, uh, yeah, hey, look, there's a matchup for the day. <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, the production crew is really ready for this one to be over, because it looks like it might be very, very soon. Low health members of Jin Air all over the place, but I don't think Drake can poke him out enough. Smeb doing everything he can, but Wing, he's huge. And there goes the Nexus turrets. There goes the Nexus. Prey gets caught. And that's a win for Jin Air and a big win. They needed it. And we've said it. If Jin Air wants to go to the playoffs, they must win. Yes. So a 2 0 would be great. That would help them out immensely. To another match here on Champion Summer. Not much damage dealt with that culling. A little bit of skirmishing in the river here. The volley turn goes down for him. The divide pushes Wisdom out. Kuro could finish him off. He does. First blood goes over to Wisdom at the last moment. The winged makes it out. Yeah. Probably okay to use that. Annoying to. Uh oh. Uh -oh. They got winged. Here comes Gorilla with that slicing maelstrom. And Kuro just solos Kuzan on the outside of the fight. Wisdom comes in for the finishing blow on the winged. And that is.
a little bit better. Well, maybe he can, he can have some more tankiness. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, they caught goodbye. Jay. Jay trying to get over the wall. The Ignite Curl just flashes for that one. Pretty easy pick for the Koo Tigers, and that is... Those are cleared out. That is so annoying. Oh, here we go. Slicing Maelstrom coming in. Where's the follow-up? Calling over the wall. Here comes Wisdom as well. Can he get the cocoon on the wing? He can't. There's a, a kick. Kuro still managed to get the kill on Che. And that may be all Ku needed because they really did. And can they catch Trace here? I wonder. Taunting in. They're going to try it. Trace, they pop the Banshee's Veil. Where's the cocoon? Wisdom doesn't quite have the cooldown just yet. There it goes. They catch him at max range and Trace could be in trouble despite the tankiness. Never mind. Ku's on over the wall. Just straight up kills Gorilla, and now they've got Smeb a little bit locked down as well, too. Jin Air pushing Ku right out of the river. That was such a big commitment to chase his tanky Nar, and Ku's on to keep Gorilla away from keeping from slicing Bouncer behind. The Dragon getting lower is going to get it. Calling Yuz. They're going to come in. Dragon gets taken by Winged. He got it again. Ku Tigers couldn't stop him. Will they win the fight, though? Wisdom very, very low. A kill for Kuzan. And Ku Tigers on the run already. Jin Air could keep chasing this. Gorilla and Smed both very low. The Q dodged by Gorilla. Wing comes in. Can he land a Q maybe? Not quite. They do need to worry about Kuro. He's got a lot of damage he could turn around and put. It hasn't gone down before 30 minutes in either of these games. Yeah. Oh, catch on to Che. Che taking a lot of damage. Pops that box, flashes over the wall, but the repel will help Wisdom avoid it too. Comes with the death sentence. A lot of damage onto Kuro. Kuro gets taken out by Captain Jack. A kill in return for Wisdom onto the support. But Trace trying to come in from behind with the flank. Wisdom on the run now already. Kuro turning around. There's another kill for Wisdom. Ku Tigers need to be careful, but it's gone okay so far. It's a two for one. Force Jenner to try and go on to you because otherwise you just win the game with five dragons. Oh, probably trying to push him with the calling. Oh, he got way too close there. But I guess it wasn't so bad with Kuro picking up a kill on the Kuzan. Super mini <laughs> waves coming in. It's going to be tough for Jenner to hold this one off. Trace trying to get in the back lines for some sort of a play with Nar, but he's got no Mega Nar anytime soon. Now building up to it. Smeb goes into the back lines a little bit. They're going to get Captain Jack immediately. There's a kill for Prey. And Wisdom trying to assassinate him. Whoa, that was a Naro that almost threw Ku Tigers right into the fountain. Not quite close enough. That would have been pretty hilarious, but Girl able to get the kill there. And there goes the Nexus. Ku Tigers tie it up with a pretty convincing game number two. Yep, and they kept. And we are back. Welcome to Ku Tigers versus Jin Air game three. But we may be in for another long one. Oh, we may be in for a fight in the bottom lane here. As Prey gets very low, there's a flash from Pilot. Can he actually take him out? He can. First blood goes over to Che, though. Wow, I have Whoa. no idea. To make sure that they get their way, and with Prey behind early on, delaying that power spike. Uh -oh. oh, there's a Wish grab. Prey. Here. Prey just stood right in that. Yeah, because Wisdom is coming in. There's a knock up into the cocoon with the flash. Che in big trouble, and Wisdom picks up a kill. And there we go. Would yeah. be a 2v3. Oh, well, there. Where did that ward come from? Oh, Condemned. Gorilla goes to investigate and dies. The old ward bait. Here comes Wisdom. Can they make a play? Pilot is back, though. It's not a 2v2 anymore. Pilot really low, but no more flashes. He gets out on the lantern. Wisdom low health. This crow gets a little bit poked, and here comes Jin Air to try to stop it. Oh, uh, yeah, they're going to need to give it up, and Jin Air may have just been gifted an easy dragon here. Not so sure about that. TP coming in. Remember, Smeb has TP advantage. Yeah, that's right. He's going to come from behind. He oh, is Meganar right now. Yep, teleport coming in for Jin Air as well, too. Wisdom gets into back lines, gets very low. Pilot with a kill on the Gorilla right off the bat. And Prey in a lot of trouble. There's a kill for Wing. Three kills come in for Jin Air. And man, did they need a team fight like that to start this game off. They're going to get the Dragon as well. Yeah, due to the cancel from Trace, I thought his TP was still down, but it wasn't. And Che right there, a bad Gnar ult from Smeb. A hero this game, he's already done with the Blade of the Ruined King at 12 minutes. There's huge kill pressure in bottom side. Extremely fast. Repel used to get in onto Trace. Trace will use the shield on himself right away, but he's already super low health. Uses that wild growth, gets slowed. The Whimsy doesn't do a lot. Nice cocoon from Wisdom to set that one up for Smeb. Recall will this cost them a turret though? 15 seconds until the dragon. He's lucky the minion wave was there. Whoa, ult on to Trace. There's the stuns lined up, and Trace is in a lot of trouble. No flash. The shield isn't enough flash. The auto, wow, he barely got him. I think he actually missed one of those autos after the flash, but it was just enough. Who's on the top side with that 2 0 Nar? It's Jin Air's on the bottom side with that 2 0 2 Oh, there's a nice kick on to Prey, forcing him out. Can they catch him? He's gonna Valkyrie right away, but. 
I think it's only a matter of time. There's a flash. Pilot catching up to Bray, doing a lot of damage. Bray turns around and is able to deal some himself, but Pilot is able to pick up that kill. Yeah. Can they get it? Getting lower, they're gonna need Wisdom to take this one. Wisdom comes in to try to steal. GBM gets a kill onto Prey, and they're pushing away the Koo Tigers. Wisdom comes in again, gets kicked out. Trace kills him, and there's the Dragon. That's five stacks for Genera and a huge gnarl from Smeb. It's not enough to turn it around, though. Gorilla's still low. GBM with yet another kill. Pilot over the wall to take down Trace, and that is going to be a massive event advantage. Now the Baron is up. It's, it's very disturbing to see kind of where his passion has been at. Oh, Wisdom gets caught a little bit as well. Pushed against the wall with that condemn. Pilot running ahead, bloodthirsty. Can he get the kill though? Yes, well he tries. Shea takes it, there we go. That was appropriately bloodthirsty. Another turret falls, and Jin Air trying to steamroll their way into the base now. No wisdom to worry about. Whoa, Wing tries to get in, gets pushed out by the Emperor's Divide. They got two alts out of that aggressive play. GBM getting a little bit crazy here. Tries to take out Kuro, and he nearly does. They're going to get the inhibitor turret. And Smeb just cannot stand Bane against this Vayne. doing Goodbye. so much damage. Whoa. Has to use. Kuro kills Pilot, yeah. though. Oops. Does get the kill, pushes a little bit. I think he's a pretty good ADC, honestly. But the frame may still have the edge there. Oh, GBM. Whoa, goodbye. Ah, uh, yes, Gorilla. The, the old GBM <laughs> Victor <laughs> Brush trick. Who needs boots when you can tumble? Oh, Pilot comes in for some damage onto Smeb. And I don't think he's worried about the format. Oh, Whoa! Cow, Kuro! That Jeez. That does it. Smeb very, very low. Nobody's going to stop this Vayne. And that's one kill already. GBM picks it up. And Vayne has gone super Vayne at this point. A big Gnarl, but it doesn't matter. That is the end of it. Triple kill for GBM as Jin Air closes it out. They are still alive. Barely alive, but still alive. They are. And now their trip to the playoffs will depend on what happens in our next match with Najin. Welcome once again to Summoner's Rift. Spenu Sonic Boom versus Najin EM Fire. Vikings make... They make the Super Bowl once in a while, they just don't win it. <laughs> so, so I think I think that your representation is uh -oh. ill, but hello, nuclear. nuclear. Oh boy, nuclear. Nuke from orbit tries to get away with the Valkyrie, but that ignite is ticking away, and first blood going over to Duke, but look at this. In the mid lane, a play onto this Rex side. That's gonna be two kills coming in for Spenu. <laughs> He's an amazing character. And oh, there, we, there go. we go. A plan of pure. Knocks him back again. Pure in a lot of trouble. There's the flash. But he's too low already. His soul is able to get there for the top. They're going to catch Oki as well. Nice explosive cast from Catch. And that's going to be two kills. Soul picks that one up. Only going back. They know secrets there. They saw him from behind. Well, they saw Catch as well, uh -oh. too. And Duke could be in a little bit of trouble here, getting very, very low. Tries to flash. There we go. Catch there to stop him. Really careful about any and is here. Yes, they do. They're going to go in anyway. Secret engaging along with Catch Shen, ulting down into it. Oku very low from the beginning. He has to get out of the fight, but he gets a good angle. Dragon taken by Spenu during the middle of all that. And they get a double kill on a nuclear. They win the fight. They take the dragon. HP when that fight started, and it was a split call from Najin. Man, they tried to get the taunt onto Goong. They got a lot of damage to him either way. Chilling Smite used onto Soul. That tier two in mid already nearly dead. Najin needs to turn things around in a hurry, otherwise they are going to be in Here's big Duke. trouble. Yeah, Duke, he's, he's not Meganar though, and Secret just keep knocking him back. They're like, all right, well, come on. He Duke. will be soon, and there aren't oh, enough bolts to stop secret. this. They're just going to dive it. Goong gets a kill there. Soul dodges the stun, doesn't dodge a knockup from Watch, and there's some kills coming in from Najin now. Yeah. The Azir turret in the mid lane. He still is. Oh, it's going to be the engage. They find Sasan, but can they finish him off? Here gets very low in the meantime as well, too. That's another kill for Soul. Catch gets taken out, though. There we go. Goong picks one up. Ember's Divide pushes Soul back, and it might be looking good for Najin. No. Double kill for Soul, though. Najin. Wow, here comes Nuclears in the middle of everything. Gets ulted. A big ult for Duke. And now the kills start coming in from Najin. One for Duke, one for Goong. And it's a battle of the mid laners. And Goong takes it. Never mind. There goes Soul. There's the ace. Double kill for Duke. And that, that is the danger. Despair. Oh, oh, fail flash from Pure. Oops. Oh, was well, they, it? They caught catch at least. And the culling with the Shen shield is not enough. Duke gets a kill there. And now Secret. There we go. There's the catch Andy was looking for. They're going to be able to take him out. Duke with the backline. Big Gnarl brings in Sasin. 
and Najin, the kills are starting to come again. It's gonna be it. Catch right now, trying to get some wards over the wall. Vision in the brush with the barrel. Here oh, we go. Sauce and chilling smite onto him. They're gonna use the Shen out right away here, pushing pure away. And watch getting in the middle of everything. Catch gets the kill on to watch. Duke trying to get in the back lines. Where's the Meganar? There it is. Swiping soul against the wall. He needed more than that though. And Najin with an awkward team fight here. Can they make it work? Catch very, very low. If they can kill him. They're gonna try to come in anyway. Catch has his ultimate back again. There we go. They're gonna catch, catch. Catch gets blown up immediately. There's another kill for Goong and Najin with this Baron. Looks like they're ready to try to take some inhibitor. And Najin trying to take this, what would be their third dragon. Duke gets caught, takes a ton of damage, and Spinner's gonna move in. They get the dragon, Catch was able to get it. Nice explosive cast pushes gear back into it. He's gonna be very, very low, but a lot of low health members on Spinner right now somehow. Oh, Pure didn't quite make it. I thought he was gonna make it. Nuclear a bit low. Culling doing damage, body blocking, a double kill for OQ already. And Najin, they want more. A kill, though, comes in for Sasin. Sasin, though, finally caught by Goong. Can they finish him off? Looks like probably yes. Watch comes in. And there we go. Watch flashes for the engage, and he wants that kill. Well, why the hell not? Duke is searching yeah. for Soul right now, but they still have three members left. Long death timers coming in. And that is one Nexus turret already destroyed Soul. Frantically oh, swiping away at these super minions. That is not the person you want to do that. Goon just going to pop over the wall. Baron buff yep. still on Najin, so this should oh, be yeah, the end it. of the game. It is indeed the end of the game. There goes the second Nexus turret. And Najin, after a shaky start, will be able to take the game despite all these knockups. Coming in from Secret, there's an R ultimate. Use the force, Duke. And that's a win <laughs> for Najin here in game number one. And welcome once again to Summoner's Rift. Spenut Sonic Boom versus Najin and Peanut. What do you know? Sasin could be in trouble here. Oh boy, yeah, he looks like he's in trouble. There's a death threat coming through. Sasin's gonna need to flash over the wall to get away from this one. And even then, I think it's unlikely to try to do Duke. something to tank. Duke coming in. He's like, mock me for picking Hecker, will you? First blood <laughs> taken by tank anyway. Uh, that is the four-band push onto the mid lane. Don't expect the Hecarim to be there, but what can he do? He's a melee champion against a freezing Kog'Maw, so you might as well just wander off and get an assist after you push the wave forward. Meanwhile, OQ here, Whoa. and it's Dive Central. Goodbye! Yep. And the Peanut Show has begun. They can uh, still dive this. The TP, yeah, Sasin used his TP, canceled it. Oh, Soul. walked right into a spear, and Soul knocked back under his own turret, but here comes the onslaught of shadows, and Duke picks up his his first kill of the game. Of course, a summoner, uh -oh. right? Do you like dives, I Noah? I love dives. Soul trying to live, though, trying to stay alive through the dive. Duke taking some turret hits, but he manages to make it work, and Peanut picks up another kill. With yeah. Juggermaw, you can just sit there and siege turrets. So as long as Nar stays alive, just to scoop people backwards, it's it's actually not the worst thing in the world. The worst thing. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna go in Peanut. secret. And takes a lot of damage. Peanut is right behind. Catch a nice flash from OQ. A kill already for Peanut. He just threw a spear in there. Sasin teleported down, but there's really no other follow up. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, that turret nearly dead. Yeah. And when it does die, Soul may follow soon afterwards because Duke has the phage now, too. Yeah, there's the giant spell coming in from Soul. Maybe he wanted to go for a frozen mallet, but he's so far behind, he just can't build that anymore. He's going to have to build Randuin's Omen. And, uh, oh, Duke. I don't Duke. know if you want to attack the turret there, Duke. He just wants to. Oh, he's got to go Whoa, for it. Right as the turret dies. Damage, there man. we go. Burns the ignite. The turret goes down, and so does Soul. Soul dying to the ignite. That's, that's judging a, the turret death on the minion damage. A good case of knowing your limits, right there. Oh, secret. There's no limit to the amount of times that Najin can kill him in a situation like that. Well, Vita just going nuts this game. He's in jail this game, and here we go, trying to go into Pure, and that's a four-man dive in the bot lane. Duke gets set by full prize, but Oki in a lot of trouble. He'll get taken out by Catch. Meanwhile, Duke comes down. What can they do with this? Where's the mid laner here? Peanut joining the fray soon. Spear doesn't hit anyone, but here he comes. Duke, there's a kill for Nuclear, and Peanut overextending, jumps into that 1v4, and Tank, he's gonna try to clean this up. Man, that could, that would've or punish Spenu for that overextension. Oh, OQ doing some damage to Secret, and Nuclear's right there, pops the culling, but Secret is so tanky against this. Oh, OQ. OQ. 
Oh, Q, no! Oh, they're gonna try to dive it, but the dive is already happening onto OQ. Explosive cast knocks him against the wall. Spear. It's like his own team was trying to kill him so he wouldn't have to die to the enemy. <laughs> oh. oh, aha, we found him. I'll throw us at the shield right away. Secret not taking a whole lot of damage. There's Tank as well. Everybody kind of hanging out in a choke. Pure pops his ultimate, and he's still in a lot of trouble. Gravity Field brings in catch, and it looks like Pure will be tanky enough to get out. Oh, here comes Nuclear. Maybe I spoke too soon. Sasan doing the damage, and Nuclear picks up a kill. Yep, this game is officially silly at this point. Stop his team from doing this. Oh, or the, are they? Yep, nobody is. And flash over the wall, headbutt pulverized. Secret goes in by himself. Here's the teleport. Duke comes in. He's all over oh. Sasan Nuclear. Big, big play there with the Onslaught of Shadows, the Chaos Storm. Chasing down the support, another kill comes in for Tank. Wow, just that nothing works. you could... Victor, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I don't know if it really matters this game, though. OQ with the culling, he just culls Saucin right didn't off even the map. ult himself right there, had no, an opportunity... Try to end here. Well, why not? You have so many minions just pouring yeah. into the base. Oh, Saucin takes a lot of damage. There goes the Chaos Storm again. Oh, Tank wow. getting low as well, too. They're gonna try to go in. Soul in the back line's a big Gnar ultimate. But can they follow it up? Najin fairly low health across the board, but there goes one Nexus turret, and Najin is indeed ready to end this game. So low, there's the Onslaught of Shadows as Duke comes in. OQ wants another kill before the game is over, and the Nexus getting poked away now, and it looks like that's going to be it. So a 2-0 for Najin. There we go. OQ, I knew he was going to get a couple <laughs> kills in there at the end. GG. The stylish kill with the flash, and that was a great gnar ult, actually, oh, yeah. by Soul.